Welcome to Reading the Word with Luther for September 7th. Today I'm going to read to you from the Holy Gospel of St. Luke, chapter 17, verses 3-5, through 5, in the Revised Standard Version of the Holy Bible. Take heed to yourselves. If your brother sins, rebuke him, and if he repents, forgive him. And if he sins against you seven times in the day, and turns to you seven times and says, I repent, you must forgive him. The Apostle said to the Lord, Increase our faith. This is the word of God. Luther wrote, There are those who hear and read the gospel and what is said by faith and immediately conclude that they have a correct conception of what faith is. They think that faith is something which is altogether in their own power to have or not to have as any other natural human work. When in their hearts they begin to think that the doctrine is right and believe it is true, they immediately conclude that faith is present. But as soon as they see and feel in themselves and others that no change has taken place, that they remain in their old ways, they conclude that faith is not sufficient, that they must have something more and greater than faith. Then they cry, faith alone does not do it. Why? Because there are so many who believe and are no better than before. Such people are those whom Jude in his epistle calls dreamers who deceive themselves with their own dreams. The true faith of which we speak cannot be manufactured by our own thoughts, for it is solely a work of God in us, without any assistance on our part. It is God's gift and grace. Faith is something very powerful, active, restless, effective, which at once renews a person and regenerates him and leads him altogether into a new manner and character of life so that it is impossible not to do good without ceasing. Just as natural as it is for the tree to produce fruit, so natural it is for faith to produce good works. Whoever has not this faith talks but vainly about faith and works and does not know what he says. For he has not received it. He juggles with lies and applies the scriptures where they speak of faith and works to his own dreams and false thoughts, which is purely a human work. Whereas the scriptures attribute both faith and good works not to ourselves but to God alone. We should therefore despair of ourselves and pray to God for faith as the apostles did. When we have faith, we need nothing more, for it brings with it the Holy Spirit, who not only teaches us all things, but also firmly establishes us in them and leads us through death and hell. To heaven. So I added those few verses before verse 5, which is what Luther was writing about, to make the observation that the disciples asked the Lord to add to their faith because he was telling them to forgive those who habitually uh, seemingly sin against them. Well, if they were called to forgive so often, and by the way, so are we called to do so, then how much more is God willing to forgive us our repeated sins? Uh, so we tend to think uh, about faith, the need to increase faith, uh, when we feel like we're losing our faith because we're sinners. That's not what faith is. Faith is something that God gives to us in spite of our sin, because of our sin, perhaps. Uh, so when we sin... And when we find ourselves habitually sinning, think of uh, driving down the interstate highway uh, through at Rowan County, North Carolina, and you get cut off yet again by somebody recklessly driving, and uh, the rage wells up within you. It's hard to control that. I mean, uh, it happens so often uh, around here. Um, you could say that uh, you sin repeatedly. You could say that I sin repeatedly. Um, should that damage my faith? Well, you know, you can, you can run the danger because you think in terms of, I ought to be better than that. That's the time when we need to ask God to increase our faith, to make us to rely upon Him and not our good works and our lack of sin. Let's pray. Lord, increase our faith for Christ's sake so that our eyes are taken off ourselves, even off our sins and our placed upon you, you alone who save us. We give you thanks in Jesus' name. Amen. Thanks for joining me today for reading the word with Luther. Come on back tomorrow. I'll be here.